Hi there, welcome to Floating in Books. Today I have a fashion haul for you. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today's video is going to be my fall, winter-ish fashion haul. I last showed you a haul, I think in May, so it's been a couple of months. And I just figured I could show you the bits and pieces I picked up over the past couple of months. Now, if you've been with me and you follow my main channel where I used to post all of my fashion content, you may know that for a while there, I was able to fill a fashion haul video with 25 to 35 items every season for a while. Um, but I've definitely slowed down on what I buy because I just feel I have everything, as in everything that's perfect for me, that goes with my style. I try to identify gaps from time to time to see, hey, do I still really need this? And of course, I like to spruce up my wardrobe from time to time, but this is everything, plus a couple of things that are down on the floor that you can't see, but there are shoes in a bag, um, that I've purchased to update my wardrobe for the fall winter season. And I'm now looking at this, I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna need <laughs> anything per se um, that I need to be purchasing in the next couple of months. So I, so I don't know when I'll be doing my next fashion haul. I think this is going to be the last one for a little while to come. So let me show you all the bits and pieces I got. Some of these were bought over the summer season. So if some items look very out of place, uh, for this time of year, that's because I haven't shown you anything in months. And so there is like a pastel pair of pants and sandals here as well that I got in the summer sale. So speaking of sandals, let's start there. Um, I bought two pairs of Dr. Martin sandals in the summer sale. So they are currently having quite a lot of things in their outlet from the summer season. And they had a bunch of sandals. These I believe are the Blairs, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna have to look up the name of these in my order confirmation, just to let you know. So I'll pop the official name down in the description box. And these are the Voss. And both of these sandals <laughs> had been on my wish list for the longest time. I've been t telling you guys for two years how the thing that's still missing from my Dr. Martens collection is a pair of sandals. And then I found two pairs essentially for the price of one because both of these were like 50% off in the sale. So this is the Voss 2 with the color blocking elements. So it has a blue sole and then the yellow and green buckle with some orange stitching, which I thought was really nice. And I was afraid that with my wide feet, these straps wouldn't fit, but because these are crisscross, they fit. So that's great. And then these are a gladiator style sandal. And I love a gladiator sandal, but very often with all the straps, it's not great for my feet. But because these are lace up, you can control <laughs> exactly how wide the straps actually are. And they still look great on. Now, I did have to size down in these because they were out of stock in my size. And I was like, I can sometimes get away with a size down and with a sandal because there's like nothing else there. It's perfect. <laughs> they are perfect. So two great pairs of sandals. I haven't worn these yet. Um, so that's why I was holding them up like that because these I will probably not be wearing until next summer. I'm still eyeing up another pair because they have one of their Griffon pairs in the sale now too, I saw. Mm, not sure yet. I, I now have two pairs, so I'm good. I'm good. And I think, you know, you guys know this about me. I'm a Dr. Martens girly at heart and I love their Adrian Loafer. Um, I have a pair in the cherry red that I love. I thought they would need a lot of breaking in but they actually didn't. And then over the winter time, I actually spotted that they were doing it in this color block version with the green. It's more of like a, well, it looks black, but it, it can be a navy if you'd like. And then just the yellow accents there as well. And I thought this was really, really cool looking. And I have lots of dark green uh, shirts and sweaters in my uh, wardrobe already. So I know these will be perfect for the fall winter season. I've already worn these and they're very comfortable indeed. So great purchase. This was another summer sale item. And if you saw my recent bag collection video, you know I bought a bag from Dr. Martens as well in the summer sale. Let me close this. Um, it's not properly done up now, but I've already shown, it, shown you what it looks like when it's all done up and it's currently holding all of my work stuff. But I wanted a new work bag and then they did the backpack in this crazy horse leather. 
and it was nearly half off in the sale. And I was like, right, that's gonna be a perfect one. And everybody has been commenting on how much they think it's a cool bag at work as well. Both my colleagues, as well as my students. So I think that's a great one. And if you wanna see what it looks like, it's like done up. It's got this little flap. So if you wanna see what it looks like done up, then it's like this. It currently holds stuff that I take with me to work every day, but I really like the aesthetic of it. And the crazy horse leather is meant to look stained and scratched. That's the way it goes. So I know this is just gonna look even better over time. So I've got my little rail right here. And as you can see, these are, these are all the bits that I got and not all of it is actually clothes that I'm planning on wearing outdoors. Um, this is going to be my new like winter outfit. I plan on saving a bit on heating. So I got myself a snuggy or snuddy or snood or whatever these things are called. And I got a Teddy fleece jacket. Um, these are just to be worn around the house. This is nice and oversized and it's just incredibly warm. And this is like a fleece jacket that you can actually wear. It's got a hood and if you're Dutch, you know exactly what character this is. This is a Dutch children's book character called Tucky. And I bought this from Hema in case you were wondering. I saw this on their Facebook page and I was like, right, I need to pick that up. So pretty much blankets I can wear around the house. Speaking of oversized, I got this coat from H&M. It's a like barber dupe jacket that has a lining, which you can actually remove. It's got pocket poppers. Um, and I have to take this off in a minute because it's so warm. It's very long on me. I'm only five feet tall, so that's why it's so long. But it has the full zipper placket with the button closure here, so it's not gonna leave any wind coming through. It's got the corduroy collar and sleeve detail here. Um, and I just thought that this was gonna be so warm and nice for like an all round jacket. And I can see myself wearing this for like the next 20 years. It also has like a waxed material. So if you wear this out in the rain, it's just gonna go right off. I'm not sure if you can take the corduroy off. I don't think you can. So that's the only thing that's going to make it extra wet. But I just thought this was incredibly practical and something that I can get a lot of fun and use out of. So that's why I got this one. I got it a size too big for me, not only because it was the only size they still had left, but also so I can layer thicker knit sweaters underneath it. Um, that's just what I like. So yeah, super long, nice coat. Um, for for H&M, it was quite expensive. It was about a hundred euros, but since I'm seeing myself getting so much wear out of this, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Next item is this Saison sweater, which I actually got over the summertime. This is their Leontine, Leontine sweater, I believe. And I was waiting for this to come back out of stock, back into stock. Um, it's got the Henley style closure here, and it just has this beige base with the navy stripes. It's got a bit of a balloon sleeve. It's nice and baggy. I got it in a size large so that it's a little bit more oversized so that if I'm wearing it with jeans, I can like tuck it like that. I like adding a bit of shape to my sweaters very often. Um, but this is just what it looks if I wear it normally. Um, this is just such an easy to wear sweater. I wore it to work the other day so this needs to go back into the laundry hamper after filming this. Um, but it is just full on cotton and it's just really, really comfortable. I didn't buy any other knitwear really for updating my spring, uh, my full winter wardrobe because I invested a lot in knitwear over the past few years and I'm just not in the market for it. So I was like, you know what? I don't necessarily need anything new. So that's why I was like, this is a nice addition because I like these sweaters for like transitional weather like we're having now where it's too cold to be wearing short sleeves, but it's still too warm to go along with a full on knit. Then things are like this are just incredibly helpful. So I really like this one. It's super comfortable and I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it because I've had sweaters like this in the past, but they were lesser quality. So they didn't hold up in the end, but this I'm very happy with. So next up is this dress from H&M. Um, as you can see, it's a very nice long length and it is wrap style. It is a full on wrap. It closes here with a little strap and a button. And then you just have the sash here to attach it to this side. 
I love a wrap dress. They are incredibly versatile and I just love the print, but I did get this in the summer sale from H&M because it was quite expensive. I believe at full price it was like 40 or 50 euros, which I thought it was too much. And then in the summer sale it was like, I think 19 or 17 euros. It was like greatly um, discounted and I just love, look at that print. Look at that. It's like this paisley print, but then with like, like a periwinkle blue and like a purple and a dark green. And I just thought fall is here and it's in a dress and I think it's really, really nice. So really like this. It's got long sleeves. It does have buttons that you can use to close it, but I can actually stick my hands and arms through just fine. And I just thought this was a really nice one. I do need to layer a little top because of the V, but I think wearing this to work sometime in the next couple of weeks is going to be perfect. So it is a polyester though, which I'm not loving. That's why I wasn't willing to pay <laughs> the like original price point for it because it is that like thicker polyester material. So I can't wait to see whether like how sweaty it's going to be, but it's been too warm to be wearing things like this because we're having really incredible early fall weather here. But yeah, when it starts cooling down a little bit, pair of black tights, pair of black boots, and I'm good to go. And then I bought this knit dress and I'm not a body con dress girly at all, but I thought that this I could still sort of get away with. Um, but I don't really attend to wear this to work or anything like that. A, it's going to be way too warm. I'm a teacher. I'm going to be sweating buckets in this, but I was like, you know what? If I'm like at home or I'm going to look a little bit more dressed up, that this is nice and it's not like too tight. I felt it skimmed really nicely. And because of the way the knit runs, I thought it was still quite flattering. And I really like this beige color. Beige is not my color, which is another reason why <laughs> I would not be inclined to wear this out a lot. But it's very warm. It's from H&M. It was in their current collection. Not sure they still do it, but I love a sweater dress for when it gets super cold. Very thick pair of tights and you're good to go. So this is definitely something I bought again in preparation for winter time. But just thought it was nice and I, don't, I only have like one other knit dress so I thought this could be a nice addition. Next up I have two blouses for you both of them are again H&M. This was a summer purchase I was still lacking like a nice cornflower bright blue shirt in my wardrobe that wasn't like a vintage that had a very particular style kind of thing and I already wore this I took it with me to London when I was traveling and if you saw my uh, summer capsule wardrobe, what I would want to take with me traveling, um, I had a green shirt in there and I took this one instead of the green one because I think black and white with this color blue, chef's kiss. So wore this already, really, really enjoy it. It's a linen shirt. H&M does some really good linen shirts, provided you don't go for the cheapest ones. You go for the slightly more expensive ones and they do them in loads of colors. But this is new in this I got in their current like fall season. I'm not sure if the color shows up. It looks very green on camera, but it's actually a teal. So this is a teal blouse, which I'm not intending to wear like this. I'll probably like tuck it in like this. And I just thought this could be a really nice one to wear with like a blazer or anything like that. Again, polyester, but I mainly got it for the color. So next up are trousers. And this pair of trousers is from H&M. It is a pair of burgundy suit trousers. They have a max matching jacket with this, but it was too oversized for me, so I'm not gonna purchase it. Plus I already have a burgundy jacket, which I tried on with this pair of pants. And they're not the exact same shade of burgundy, but I think it works. So that's why I decided to keep these. They're a little bit long. I need to take them up, um, but I can essentially get away with it if I were to roll them up already. Um, this way you can get a sense of the shade a little bit better, I think. It's just a pleated pair of trouser suit bottom pair pants, and I also got a similar pair in a pastel. So this one does have the elasticated waistband, which I actually enjoy. I have other pairs from H&M that have this style and they're incredibly comfortable. This was a part of a suit as well. Again, the blazer was far too oversized and drowning. And if I wear a looser pant like this, which this one is as well, 
and I wear an oversized jacket because I'm so short and a little bit stocky, I just look a lot bigger than I am. So I wanna wear this with something a little bit more tailored um, and I have plenty of other jackets that can go with this because I have something in like a very soft green, like a sagey green, which I think will go perfectly with it. But I just intended on wearing this with a white t-shirt or a white blouse. Um, that can be nice as well. And yeah, I just really enjoyed the look of this. Um, it reminds me a lot. This is a floral print though. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, this reminds me a lot <laughs> of a pair of galaxy print style leggings I used to own back when those were a thing. Um, this has the same color story as that, but I just feel it's a little bit more upgraded because those were leggings and I'm just not a legging person and this way I feel I can wear it to work quite easily. But I'm sort of keeping these around for like the spring season because I feel they're very spring. But I bought them in the summertime when we were had a, having a lot of rain and with very light trouser pants like this and rain. That's not a good combo. So um, that's why I'm still hanging on to these. I haven't worn them yet. And in case you don't know, if you want to know where I get all of my workout clothes, it's H&M as well. Um, this is just a teal shade that they're currently doing in their workout line. It looks very gray on camera, but trust me, it's a teal. And I just upgrade and buy new th stuff whenever I feel they have something that might look nice on me. I do get the leggings a size down because I feel they stretch out over time. <laughs> and I've made the mistake in the past where I got a large, which fits me better upon purchase. But then after two wears, I can like they start falling down and these stay up. Um, as long as I don't size up in them. Um, and also the large is too long on my legs. If I get the medium, it's a better leg length. But yeah, H&M workout stuff works really well for me. I've been buying their workout gear for more than a decade and it still works. And next up are the final two bottom things, which are skirts. So let me talk about what I'm holding up first. This is from Cezanne, so it was a little bit pricier, but I've been eyeing up their skirts for such a long time and they did a fabric similar to this, but they only did in short and long pants. And this time this fabric came in a mini skirt and a pair of trousers. The trousers look really cool as well. I tried them on, but I think I need a size up and that's currently out of stock. The trouser length on it was much better for me than the full length trousers they were doing last year. And this like tartan print was like a brown and blue. So I got the shorts last time. Um, but this time they did this really pretty mini skirt. It's a little creased. It looks from being in the box, I think. Uh, so it does need a steam. But yeah, I think this print looks really stunning. Another reason why I didn't buy the full length pair trousers yet <laughs> is because I actually bought a vintage pair of trouser pants that look very similar to this print. They're also a blue and green tartan, but it's a smaller check. So I don't feel I necessarily need those, you know what I mean? But yeah, this skirt I think is really nice. It is a little longer, it kind of sits like this, so it kind of hits me just above the knee, which is great because I have a lot of mini skirts, but they're a bit shorter on me, which I'm getting towards, like I'm going towards 40 and I don't want to wear things that are super short anymore. So I think this goes a little bit better and I can still show a little bit of leg, which I do like to do. So nice little skirt from Cezanne. And then what I'm wearing is from Monkey and they are doing a corduroy maxi skirt. Well, on me, it's maxi. I think if you're taller, it's probably more of a midi, <laughs> but on me, it's a maxi. It's got a split in the front. I'm not sure you can see it's got pockets. It's very slim line. Um, I would definitely wear this with like an oversized knit or something like that. And I thought this was great as an upgrade to my fall winter wardrobe because I live in corduroy trousers <laughs> in the fall winter season. And to have it as a skirt, I thought was great. It also comes in a dark green and in a bright red. So if black isn't your thing, you can go for those. I was hoping to get the dark green one, but it went out of stock in my size. And I was like, you know what? I think the black one can be very versatile as well. I don't have that much black in my wardrobe and I do already have a couple of other like dark green skirts and like blouses and things. And this way I can actually pair some of like the mustard and dark green things with the black skirt. That's what I'm hoping. So yes, that's it. That's my little fashion haul. I'll come down so you can see me. Uh, those are all the bits and pieces that I bought in like recent months to update my wardrobe. 
Um, some summer sale items here, so if you're wondering why are you showing us sandals in October, it's just because I haven't talked to you about what I had new in since May. Yeah, I did do a vintage haul, so I'll make sure to link that down below as well as the fashion haul I did in May so that you are fully up to date with what's currently in my wardrobe. And yeah, I think I wanna do like a styling video in November, so stay tuned for that so you can see some of the ways I like to style up these pieces. I can definitely do that if you're interested in that. For now, just know that I post here once a week. I post four times a week over on my main channel, so check that out in the meantime. And then I hope to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.